What's up, everybody? It is Team Bravis here. A um, whole bunch of different people on the call right now. We've got uh, Eric, who is... Uh, he's a lot of different things. He's a hardware expert. He knows a whole lot about the gaming industry. He's got contact with a lot of different gaming hardware manufacturers. I'll, I'll let you fill in anything else there that you, that you want <laughs> to know about director yourself. director of R&D for Bravis yeah. <laughs> as well. Uh, so, yeah, we... We, we do a lot of hardware, so I'm super excited uh, for the past three years' worth of uh, leaks and speculation to finally see a Switch Pro. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he built us Switch docks from scratch, if that gives you any indication of the, the, the level of his technical proficiency here. Uh, we've also got Coach Mikey. Hey, how's it going, y'all? Um, he, for those who don't know, uh, he is an excellent commentator, T.O., gamer himself um especially in the smash community he is very well known there he's commentated a number of majors um so he is a, a long time community figure in the competitive nintendo communities uh we've got avery who is an artist um and a uh, a gaming fan what's going on avery hello Good to be here. Yeah, avid gaming fan. Excited to see what's uh, going to be happening with this uh, your video. And I am Jim. Uh, I also have been a longtime uh, commentator and TO in the Smash Bros. Melee community. I have also been a competitive Splatoon player for the last three years, and uh, that's something that uh, I've been doing a lot of content for on YouTube recently under the, the Bravest header. So uh, we are all extremely excited to see this Nintendo Direct, as you can tell from our occupations. <laughs> <laughs> um, we may also... I, I know that uh, Scott actually uh, gave us an affirmative on the calendar invite for this uh, restream. So he might be a little bit late, but uh, he said that he was going to be here as well. He is the CEO of Bravis and Game Truck, uh, Legendary Shift... Do we use Connected Affinity anymore? I can't even remember. There are a lot of brands under this. <laughs> yeah, Connected Affinity is still used. That's what we that's gotcha. what we do for uh, our Culture Kitchen, Culture Kitchen type right. events okay. and stuff like that. Like Culture Kitchen, Trivia, all those are under Connected mm -hmm. Affinity. Um, so he has a whole lot of different experiences. He was a baseball coach for a very long time, which is actually very informative for working with kids. I learned a lot about how to coach people from him. Um, he was also an executive in Disney, a VP, I believe he was. Um, yes, he was a VP at Disney. And then uh, started Game Truck from the ground up, um, and now it's in half the states of the U.S. So, And he ran uh, development at Rainbow Studios as well That's for a true. very long time, making the BMX uh, ATV off-road series and whatnot. Yeah. And, I mean, it's, it's a lot of games that he did. Right, I, I remember seeing that uh, trophy case, basically, with all of the different <laughs> discs that he worked on. Um, it's a, quite a portfolio there, so... It so, always yeah. makes for an interesting conversation when new people come into the office of, like, what is this? Like, well, let me tell you the story of Scott Novus. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to potentially getting him and uh, hearing his insights here. Um, so... And it is worth noting that Scott's... Uh, Baseball coaching history is what started Bravis Esports. Uh, the the want and need for teaching everybody how to how to compete competitively, work in a team, and do everything without being toxic and without being mm -hmm. mean to everybody. Teaching everybody camaraderie first and gaming second. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez, we have three minutes left. All right, quick, everyone, yeah. <laughs> your, your bingo cards. What do you think is going to be filled out on them? Oh, God, bingo card. Go first, Jeff. What do <laughs> okay. you get? Um, so we're going to get Breath of the Wild 2 news 100%. I believe they've actually yep. confirmed that. Um, I, I'm excited for that game. I don't particularly need to have it right this second, so whatever yeah. they give us, I'll, I'll like. Um, they're probably going to give us a number of different titles we weren't expecting or some niche ones that will make certain people very, very happy and that other people will go, oh, huh, okay, I guess that's cool. Um, for Splatoon 3 in, in particular, I'm thinking we might see release dates. Uh, if they re if they re unveil the Switch Pro, then I'm expecting that, the, that Splatoon 3 will be exclusive on that console to help drive sell sales in it. Um... I am expecting that th there's a lot of speculation about whether they might be a global test fire for that game where uh, they give people kind of a demo version to play online for a little bit so we can figure out the mechanics and stuff. Um, 
if there's not going to be something like that, I at least hope we see some treehouse footage of it. Hmm. Uh, I think the one surefire thing that they're going to talk about is Mario Golf because it comes out in 10 days. Uh, I think we're going to have our usual just, uh, you know, our, our usual run of third party games uh, that's going to take up more time than we want within this 40 minute segment. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're absolutely going to get a Smash character announced. Um, mm. uh, and, you know, it's E3, so you want it to be a big one, maybe like a big third party crossover thing. Yeah. Something that comes out of right field, but you know, more than likely, it'll just be another Fire Emblem character. <laughs> I am. Uh, I definitely think that Splatoon three information is going to happen. Um, I I honestly think that if they don't, that's ridiculous because the community has actually grown even more during the pandemic, and a lot of people have been really playing it enough that they decided to fully greenlight Splatoon three. So we might as well uh, see at least like a little bit of gameplay yeah. and whatnot and then they'll say that we'll get some on the treehouse afterwards um i'm definitely i'm certain that they'll show a little bit of of a, the soccer game or whatever or ba what is it baseball that's coming out from Mario? Golf. they always come out with new sports golf there we go yeah which sport is it i always forget i'm like yeah you know it's this one i wish they'd uh, golf would be baseball or soccer They'll pro baseball will probably be next. Um, but yeah, I think that that'll definitely yeah. come out um, just like a short thing. The big thing is that I think that if they're going to do a hardware re or reveal, they're going to do it right at the very end and then uh, say more information on the treehouse because they really want people to pay attention to the treehouse. In past E3s, yeah. nothing has like really happened on the treehouse that people really watched other than like people standing in line at E3. So mm -hmm. this will be something really, really good for everybody to see. And I think that they're going to branch a lot more into it. Yeah, I definitely, I, I definitely agree with most of those. I'm, I'm, I'm at least looking forward to uh, Splatoon three and the uh, new Switch if that happens. But, um, yeah, yeah, should be. What do we think about Metroid? Any, any Metroid? I was, I was just gonna say, like, what are our thoughts on Prime coming being shown? <laughs> I gave up on that game a long time ago, which might actually be the perfect time. Oh, oh here it's oh. starting. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Hello everyone, I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hello, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide as well. The Nintendo Switch system is now in its fifth year. It's a unified, and many people uh, around the world are playing games on it. Launch without Nintendo having Switch is being enjoyed it. by a wide range of players spanning all ages and all levels of gaming experience. Thank you all very much. We've been able to offer a wide variety of games on the system, not just from Nintendo, but also from our many development and publishing partners. I hope that each of you watching this Nintendo Direct will be able to find a game that suits your personal tastes. Today, we have news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we'll be focusing on a selection of games releasing this year. We hope you enjoy it. Okay, to begin, please take a look at this video. They did say they were going to be focusing more on software, I think, than hardware. That's pretty much what the announcement said, but I think like they've said that for a while. Here we go, brother. Oh, well, too. Um, but I, I well, think that's why one of the reasons why I think it's going to happen at the very, very end. Who's throwing him in? Is it that mage that we saw before? No, it's oh, Tekken. Oh, 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 oh my god, yeah. god. what a bait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, Mikey. They had me there. Oh, that bingo card. <laughs> Play Tekken in one less dimension than usual. Yeah! That stage looks neat. Hit, the throws are great, though, because they actually look like 3D throws. Like They look like he almost like threw it into the, into another level. I think this, this is a really good move, because Tekken is really popular right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, it's just... <laughs> Throwing them all into the pit. Who's who's gonna push him into the pit now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, throwing him in. <laughs> oh man. 
Oh, she's oh, just not final smash. Oh, it's not even a final smash. Oh, it's like a limit. Maybe a meter thing. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't remember there being metered stuff in Tekken. There's not, but yeah, you gotta figure out a way to do it somewhere. And that makes perfect sense. Oh, Hayachi, is he gonna be a secondary? I think he's part of the stage, looks like. Oh, yeah. Good thing, yeah. Yeah, just part There's of that final stage. Not there we go, yeah. Wins. Yeah, I wonder how much that character is gonna resemble, like, uh, you know, like Terry and Ken and Ryu. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. I imagine it'll oh, be a little bit. He's just oh, gonna no. float back, isn't he? How to float? Palm, yeah. Palming him like a basketball. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a nice Hello, nod. I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited and the director oh, of the Super Smash right Brothers now? Ultimate Game. Kazuya Mishima from the fighting not. game series Tekken will <laughs> join so the long. battle. 40 Fresh minutes? Time. Yeah. I'll go over the details Kirby at a later date. Kirby is the only one so who survives the World type. of Light cutscene. Like, For he is today, kind of though, immortal. We've prepared a short video <laughs> to showcase mm -hmm. Kazuya's moves in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Please take a look. Okay, so it's just a short video, not a full presentation from him. I wonder if there's a command grab here, or if that was just grab. Okay, that's definitely wow. a Wow. Yeah. Dragon uppercut. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that's the dragon just, uppercut right there. Just say sure you think. Crouch dash, that's interesting. I mean, that makes sense from a martial arts standpoint. I wonder if you crouch dash back, because it only showed forward there. Oh, yeah. that's a good question. I mean, you should be able to. That's hey, can you party and back dash? Huh? Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> Screw it, just, just bring wave dashing back, why not? <laughs> this feels like Tekken. No, it's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'll talk he about the fighter disappointed more in a the way he says that. We still have to record it first, actually. The air date is shown below. Please stay tuned. Okay, it's 28. So that's 7 probably a.m. That's probably Ooh. when the character will be released. Thank you, Mr. Also. Sakurai. Probably. That's that's usually how it's new fighter goes. Kazuya will join the fight in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That's pretty cool. Please look forward to seeing how Kazuya. Who has experienced like many harsh new, they just it's a new property the series mm -hmm. i wonder if the, in this game they just need like a mortal Kombat right. character let's continue they need, with it, it would be a really good time for Nintendo switch Gear crossover <laughs> oh that would be so imagine it, an injustice crossover Your where they get a dc comics character in there supernatural tales <laughs> It'll never happen. All right, put your resident sleepers in the chat. Just kidding. Just <laughs> can't be a lame Superman from Injustice. Oh. <laughs> Lovely song. It sounds. It sounds a little bit Porter Robinson-ish. Wait a second. Is this a Life is Strange? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, okay. So I thought it was going to be like an additional spinoff, but it's just that the remastered in True Colors is coming to Switch. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I feel like I recognize these characters, but I don't remember yeah. from where. The blue hair and whatnot. I'm like, wait. And then as soon as she sat down, I'm like, that's True Colors. Life is strange. <laughs> okay. So it's not, it's not an animated version. This is the actual one. I would have been hyped for an animated version. I kind of, I kind of wish it was like honestly. an extra one. Yeah, that would have been cool. Life is Strange. Game true that would be a lot, though. Launches on Nintendo yeah, that would be a lot, September though, because True Colors is still coming out. So. Life is Strange Remastered Collection comes to Nintendo Switch later this year. I literally didn't know until this E3 that it was pronounced Square Enix. Oh. <laughs> I've always heard it as Square Enix. Is that true? System. That's how they've been saying it, it in the direct. Square Enix? Are yeah, Star some people call it different Leading things. a legendary band of heroes for hire in this, this thrilling action adventure game. This looks so much better than the Avengers game. Jump on a wild ride across the cosmos. Yeah, that's why. Overwhelm opponents with Star I mean, that's a low bar, isn't it? Combat style. And it is a low bar. It's and true, but like, they were talking about how they, how they the showed the characters to, to Disney, and Disney and Marvel were just like sat silent for like a minute, they said, is what it felt like. And then they said that they liked them. And these character models are so much better than anything 
the, the, the uh, Crystal Dynamics worms game. Worms yeah. everywhere. Game. Worms. In this real-time arena base. Oh, real-time worms. You'll squish your invertebrate nice. opponents. Nice. And yeah, Worms Rumble is already on the, the PS5. Play in daily the challenges, battle okay. modes, and seasonal events to worm your way up the ranks. Worm your way Plus, up. Plus, the patchwork <laughs> bear outfit <laughs> exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version uh, will be available for free for two weeks after launch. A new map Switch for Spaceport Showdown yeah. launches with I like how they, like, swap the colors around on the Nintendo Switch June 23rd. Yeah. Get a 25% discount when you pre-order the game starting today on Nintendo eShop. Cheap. The fantastical realm of Orcanon awaits. As you explore this fully hand-painted world, you'll customize a team of demigods and unleash devastating attacks in captivating turn-based combat. Astria Ascending launches on Nintendo Switch September I mean, 30th. I like a good RPG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's like looking art. They, don't, they don't have a lot yeah. that's new to say about Return it, but it's a funny, charming, good looking JRPG. And quirky world of Two Point County. Oh, uh, this In game looks so crazy. Two Point Campus, I still have not played Two Point Hospital, but for this you one, want. it looks just as bonkers. Lots of creative tools are at your disposal. Is it like Sim Make University? Make school yours and take your education yeah. empire yeah. to the next level. It's a little bit for different than the way that the Sims runs. Nintendo Switch next year. You're more managing the entire facility than the people. A beloved series so more like a roller coaster into a tournament oh. anniversary this year. Really? We're gonna talk about the 20th anniversary. They better talk about the 35th anniversary for Zelda. Oh, People were excited about this. Super Monkey yes. Ball. <laughs> this got leaked, I think. I saw something about it on Twitter, and people were, "Yo, they're gonna release all the Super really? Monkey Balls! Oh my God, that's gonna be In one enormous!" One specific on pack. That'd be great. Oh my God. If they if they have like remastered sets with online, play, I will probably awesome. play this Super Monkey Ball 2. I have hundreds of hours in that game, and I never played the first one. I don't know. I played it once, exactly once. Oh no, it's just a new. Oh no, yeah, it is all. Of them. Yeah, it's it's one, two, and deluxe. Triangle holes the map where you hold forward and you just bounce right into the goal. <laughs> all remastered. Say online play. Yeah, I'm recognizing like half of the stages here. Go bananas! Win Super Monkey Ball. Oh, Banana Mania about online play. rolls onto Nintendo Switch October nice. 5th. Nice. That's that's coming up. Yeah, we'll see. That's hype. It's a blast from parties past, and you're invited. Ready for another round of Mario Party Mayhem? Of course you are. It's a superstar collection New of maps. Mario Party boards and mini games. New boards, okay. Oh. Oh, and mini games. Live it up on five classic boards from the Nintendo 64 era, including Peach's Birthday Cake and Spaceland. I like that. Each board yeah, is packed yeah, with not. zany events guaranteed need to more keep you on your toes. Yeah, and when we sure. say zany, we mean it. We're time to do it. That game's Jump. been out for a long time. Next block, right. Yeah, but they we'll... just did that update to allow you to do online play. Exactly. Hilarious, That's why it is. Over the top oh, mini games. Yeah. Is, uh, All of which support buttons. The controls. thing that people play Mario Party for was not available online for a while. Mario Party series catalog. And yeah. So, yeah. Especially during oh, COVID. Star Fun Fest. So now that, it's, just said, party now that it's there, they're trying to keep the momentum going. All work with online play. Even if you're partying solo, you can randomly match with other party goers worldwide. Playing a board game online with friends? Save your progress mid game, grab a snack, then resume the festivities. Stickers are also available to communicate with others. It's time to There are going to be some sweats in, in Mario those lobbies. Party Superstars. This is going to push the, the Mario Party meta game. October 29th. Oh, it is a new on Nintendo Wii It's Shop. a new game. Oh, what did you think? That's interesting. Before we show this next trailer, I'd like to say one thing. I, Currently, in the face we're working people. hard on the latest it game us in the Metroid right, Prime so series, they Metroid might be Prime doing it 4, because... which we previously yeah, announced. They, oh, that they console is like, so today, yeah. we'd like that to introduce yeah, right. another in new the time entry in, in the Mario Metroid franchise. Now, so. uh, yeah, you're right, because the controls, the motion controls are required, you're right. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> That's, oh, I don't know about, I don't Wait, about is that. this Metroid? Oh, it's Metroid, yeah. Yep. There you go. Five? People have been waiting what? since. Five. Wait, we oh no, this is skipped. not. No, this is Metroid 5, not Metroid Prime. Oh. All those people waiting Hello. since 2007 are going to be angry. Hello? 
was a triumph. <laughs> 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 back in the house. Back. And after you catch the Metroids, there will be Oh, pain. wow, that looks good yeah. and scary. So it's an all-new <laughs> Metroid game, not a Metroid yeah. Prime game. And it's not a remake, either. Metroid Dread. Yeah, I was I was getting upset at the, the player for not jumping. <laughs> yeah, just well, I mean, this... There. This will be good if they nail it. It looks pretty cool. Well, they did a really good job with that with the remake a few years back. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe hire some of the the people who did that mod that they shut down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A camo. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about that suit. I'm not. I, the design of it looks a little bit odd. Like I don't know if I like the white with the uh, blue. And yeah, gold. not a huge fan of that color combo. Yeah. No. It looks like it's a no. similar visual motif to the enemy that that, that she's fighting there. And they'll have it yeah. In three house. If they change the color Ooh. schemes, a la Mega Man, that'll be interesting. <laughs> that's that's very. That serious. was the trailer for yeah. the first new 2D Metroid game in roughly 19 years. The brand new, new not a Metroid remake, yeah. Dread game. Yeah. As the name Dread implies, and that's because a lot of people found, a or they found that a lot of people really like that, that 2D a variety of threats side scrolling that Santa still well. encounter. It's scheduled to be released on October 8th, so it won't be too long until launch. Part of me just on wants to judge day, all Metroid we'll titles also by the speedrun strats. Amiibo figures for Samus yes, and I like those Amiibos. Emmy, still don't like the color scheme the video. though. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. These familiar franchises are back on Nintendo Switch. I'm a get ready to get down All right. in the latest the Just Dance game. Shock, shock. I am shock. They, they're, they're putting Just Dance on the Switch? Who, who knew that what? was going to happen? The question is, does this release on the Wii? <laughs> and the Wii U. Not the Wii U, no, the Wii U. Hit the dance floor in Just, Just Dance, dance 2022, 2022. Launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. I think it was. 20 definitely was. Oh, the it wasn't. Smash hit Cruising, Cruising USA. On to Nintendo Switch. This is giving me, like, Blast excite truck vibes. Nearly 30 over the top tracks. But yeah, it's... it's Cruising USA. Up to four players can oh, race okay. together Arcade to play uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Hit the road. Yeah, it's Cruising Blast, but it's Cruising USA. Cruising Blast. Yeah, I know that name. The console exclusive on Nintendo together. Switch. Big donut, fall. love it. <laughs> yep. Doing donuts in the parking lot, it's and I don't mean spinning Dragon around. Ball Z experience. Oh, is this Kakarot finally coming to Switch? Yep. Relive the story is. of Goku and a other year and a half later. Four sagas in this <laughs> After action three RPG. sets of DLC you know, there's, there's, out on it. <laughs> there's been a lot of re-releases and Vegeta remaster. Never. Yeah. yeah. This isn't a remaster. Like, this is, it's just never come to the Switch. Late, late releases. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it just always the seems death. like these kinds of third-party titles, it's like, yeah, they're cool, but they come out a year and a half after they come out on the other consoles. Along yeah. with the this, main I, story, they do have to downscale the a bit because the game itself is really beautiful. Hey, on, like, why not help out the locals? Or collect ingredients for delicious meals. So they do have to downscale a bit because they have to be able to support to the 720p too. in handheld mode. There are lots of so things it takes to keep time you busy. for them to, to convert some of the these things The boss battle over. episodes, A that New Power sense. Awakens Parts 1 and 2 is also included. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Oh, but not Plus, Trunks. A new Power Awakens set punches its way onto Lame. Nintendo Switch September 24th. <laughs> They're like, there's Grab DLC coming out, you'll get ready to take it. Oh, there you go, you were right. The Mario Golf That's Super Run game for launches Mikey. soon. Here's a quick glimpse into I each of the modes. Play it. I that like Bowser Mario outfit Golf was game. fire, Golf. wait. Yeah. Uh, take your time to read the, the wind and shirt. terrain on the greens. <laughs> if only he had Guy Fieri hair. He needs that to buy some different types of shots and aim for I mean, he already kind of does, doesn't he? He's got the little spiky thing up top. Nice bird. A little okay. bit. Speed golf. But it needs to be Smack like. Smack your ball, then chase long. after it. Be the first to get your ball in the hole. 
outpace your rivals with special dashes and special shots. Turn golf into a racing game. Oh, <laughs> with the mic stand. Rosalie hit it with a mic stand. You get out over nine flag <laughs> holes in an obstacle. Is Bowser uh, wearing bear traps on his feet? Capture three Please. flags to win. For Pauline, the gosh. Golf adventure. Go from rookie oh, and you to can pro make your with knee. your me character. The golfing challenges that will have may surprise you. Was that an ice ball or something? Is that why it stayed on the water? Uh, or or she hit it right and it was skipping. Release, New including additional City? courses and playable yeah. characters. Yeah. yeah, playing golf in a metro area. That sounds like a great plan. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a dash. dash. And get ready to ace those shots King Bob in Mario off. Golf Super Rush. Swing you know, I'm all for Nintendo urban golf. I, I do think that golf as a sport is wasteful. And the fact that we dedicate wide swaths of land to it is, Ready for the ride of a lifetime? destructive yeah. to the environment so that that's pretty so they, nice, welcome honestly. to the vast they do world of monsters at least place place trees in the middle of urban areas so that there's actually green space instead of concrete so that's, a, a, that's a one plus RPG to it. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. there's a lot of water use though, in places like monster, here in arizona a monster companion. That's a, yeah, yeah the fact right. that we maintain golf courses honey and in arizona they use them to craft items oh right monster hunter okay i was like wait i know that I know what I'm looking yeah, at. There's the new Monster Hunter the game they announced yesterday on the Capcom one. Some are docile, but others may suddenly ambush you. There. Oh, wow, it's to just... fight, you'll team up with your They're monster. They're just riding a Legiana. Because this is... Overwhelm this is enemy story. monsters and turn-based Stories is based off of the anime And you'll be rewarded with their materials. Monster Hunter. Which can be forged into new weapons and armor. Hey, is that an egg? You might be able oh. to hatch a new monster. Incredible. Yeah, calling a monsties. Yes, they changed that eggs. too. There Need were jokes made about buddies? that yesterday on the Join E3 up with friends for co-op multiplayer quests and battles. Buckle up, Ryder. But that's the it's Monster Hunter a real story monster thing. of an adventure. Is that they refer to them as monsties? Monster Hunter Stories huh. 2: Wings of Ruin soars onto Nintendo right, Switch like July 9th. Through. You can play the free demo on June 25th and carry over your save data to the full game. That's nice. With Monster Hunter Rise still being Here's relatively recent and a lot of people playing it, I wonder <laughs> what that's going to do what? for me. It's a different set. It's, it, there's an actual story to it instead of Rise, me? where it's hey, like an open world oh, type I? thing. Wario, where? Wario, where? Wario! Finally! It's a finally ready. A brand new game from my company. Check it out. You get to control me. Nice. Hi. This, to is this. Hi. this is This is what I've been waiting for for a long time. <laughs> Look at me go! What rats! Check out these. Is that pink they purple? came back and <laughs> yep. they have wonderful new talents. That's a Japanese thing. Throw that stick oh. out. All bird all birds eat strawberries there. Use That's the just... spinning <laughs> <laughs> what you might call it. Yeah, there's a, a, a Raleigh Chan, which is a, uh, a spin-off from Akira Toriyama. They, and they've had a Raleigh in Dragon Ball before. Uh, they do like a pink poop Two thing. Two people too. can play together at the same time. So play nice, or else. <laughs> Hey, not nice. All right, you. Yes, you. The one watching this. Better get ready for some micro game mayhem. <laughs> the WarioWare Get It Together Sounds game weird launches say exclusively words. on the Nintendo Switch system <laughs> yeah. September 10th. That was a, that was a lot of Wario today dialogue, on Nintendo and I'm not sure e I'm comfortable with it. Yeah. <laughs> Is, that might be more than he's ever canonically had. <laughs> what you yeah. just saw was the this trailer the for most rapid WarioWare. Fire. Get it together. Promotion so far to our like this E3. In the latest installment of this series, there are new micro games that let you control Wario and his friends. There is also a two player co op mode, which greatly expands the gameplay. It's releasing in the near future, so stay tuned. Okay. Next, please take a look at this. Let's go. This might be big. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a please take a look at this? All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's about to get real. As a high school student living in Tokyo, <laughs> your life Persona? is fairly normal. It, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not new IP. IP. But that reality it's the Shin Megami, Shin Megami Tensei oh, okay. like, into a different series. dimension. These school uniforms, these school it's uniforms similar. are a drip. Fire. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's similar to Persona, but it, it deals more with demons and stuff like that. Whoa, that is but they do track. have a lot of the Another same, the, a lot of the summons that you get in this is similar to the Persona and and they'll, they'll pull in a bunch reside. of them. I 
I know nothing about this game, but the soundtrack is pretty hype. With a mysterious figure, gaining the power to fight demons. What lies ahead in this alternate realm? <laughs> yeah. Good game. The world is now transformed into a sprawling demon-infested wasteland. It's more Those of a demons do exist like a dungeon crawly Many type game than the personas, but and will similar to combat. destroy you. Harness your newfound powers to fight cool. demons using a command Her name based is system. Protag? Finding like their protagonist? weak point is key. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure that that's the, uh, the not to you name them yourself. You can perform in a combo will increase. <laughs> yeah, that's a smart way to do it, honestly. Though demons are yeah. formidable opponents, <laughs> you may be able to recruit them via negotiations which begin when you open a conversation with them. Oh, oh it's this Undertale. Is, this has big Persona vibes. Undertale took this, took it from this. The, these games have been out if for a long time. That's a, that's a key part to the Shin Megami Tensei games. Powerful ally. It's also in similar, like they cases, have a lot of this in Dra in, uh, Dragon Quest Dragon Quest. They may feel nine? motivated and no, join ten. you as an ally. Demons that do join will fight alongside you and grow Look stronger. At Look at this little guy. <laughs> yep. By little chicken with the demon onion. allies, <laughs> another demon can be created. Fire and the newly fused demon's innate abilities will vary, granting you a powerful ally, customized <laughs> to your needs. A powerful and ally. It's a little hey, hey, the fairy jack ones are, are really good, actually. And they're in Persona as well. Challenge the many demons roaming this post-apocalyptic world by harnessing the power of your own. What destiny will you choose? Shin Megami Tensei 5 will launch exclusively on Nintendo Switch November 12th. Pre-orders for the physical version begin June 21st. Pre-orders, asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> that was the latest trailer for Shin Megami Tensei 5 from Atlas. This is the newest game in the series. Please look forward to future updates. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Celebrate 10 years of Danganronpa. Oh, they keep uh, Splatoon 3 for the end. Are we going to be able to stream Danganronpa though? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that don't know, we can, you cannot stream beyond like the first chapter on most of the games. You'll get DMCA because there's a DMCA for the artwork. <laughs> Three games oh in the God. deadly Donkin Rampa series are coming to Nintendo Switch. Monokuma, the self-proclaimed school headmaster, has trapped you and other high school students in a game of literal <laughs> life and death. Unfortunately, the burly the one's a girl, by the school, way. And this I love game Sakura. Is to betray yeah. the other students. <laughs> and so it begins. A body has been discovered! When a student meets their demise, a class trial will take place to reveal the culprit. You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? Tony, I had no idea. They probably moved the body oh, there. Oh, they're Use doing the a bogus. To review <laughs> contradictions and find nice. the guilty party. No, this is how the Danganronpa series is. They've been uh, out for a very long time. A moga. Yeah. <laughs> we're just we're just saying what the Twitch chat's gonna like say. Like an <laughs> imposter. Plus, the board game from Donkin Rama V3 Killer Mario yeah. Party has been expanded into a standalone game. Yep. Donkin Rama S Ultimate Summer Camp. An all-star cast of characters from the Donkin Rama series will come together to battle at a tropical <laughs> just resort. A frame or two the of the of shirtless, yep, the shirtless beach boy. brawl. The four game collection Duncan Rumpa. This game Decadence has like seven different genres. Exclusive on all yeah, it's yeah. Nuts. All game is nuts. The game is nuts. Also be it's individually all, all available all. on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, I've always heard good things about it. Never actually played it. We hope you're not afraid of ghosts. Ooh, prob yeah, okay. Fatal Frame? At, at this rate, yeah, we're going to get like frame, one, game, yeah. one more first party thing, it seems like. Yeah, we've got 13 minutes left. In this horror adventure game, you'll uncover the mysteries surrounding the ethereal but deadly Mount Hikami, believed to be at the center of many disappearances. Ghosts frequent this mountain. Your only defense is a camera that can repel and cast them out. What if Pokemon snap, but scary? 
Yeah. Face your fears as you explore a variety of unsettling locations. And Pokemon Snap did predate this. <laughs> this spine-chilling story features various protagonists, letting you experience the so game that actually from different probably perspectives. Was the New costumes and the, photo modes yeah, the are included in this like, version. Oh yeah! Can you investigate Mount Hikami and stay alive? Fatal Frame. The Fatal Frame Maiden series is of good. Black Water creeps onto Nintendo Switch this year. These games and DLC are coming soon. Some even Whoa. today. Some even today. Oh, yeah. What? The war is not over. Raise hell in the first campaign expansion for Doom Eternal, ah, okay. The Ancient Gods Part 1. Nice. This new music, I don't recognize this. Deeper and more challenging no, combat it's the, Doom, it's the Doom Eternal music. It's, it's not as good as the threats. original Doom the music because ruins the main composer terrain. didn't even get to like do the full remaster. There's a whole thing about the it when Doom Eternal came out. Is in your hands. Get Mick Gordon when this campaign is amazing and Nintendo Switch they later ruined today. his music a bit. Oh yeah, it's right. This Tony Hawk. Two iconic yep. skateboarding games fully remastered in HD. This game's really era fun. Defining jams as I the mean, legendary Tony the ability Hawk to play it on the go? Heck yeah. And returning pros. That was a heck of a playlist that they showed the off for it. I didn't know they had that much music in it. Oh, yeah. tons of music. Because music's always been key to the Tony Hawk series. That's, yeah. that's what a lot of people Drop remember Tony Hawk's for, Skater honestly. One and two, oh, yeah, so many people Switch remember, like, like, they may not have heard the music on the radio, but they would heard it in Tony Hawk. That's insane. After four that and Gran Turismo years, was another Sateki, one that people the got. Witch Queen has risen from the dead. I only ever played the level editor. One group of heroes so can stop her. <laughs> <get to> <laughs> <as> <laughs> the strange brigade. Putting punji pits in, this in there. Exactly. Adventure. Everywhere. <laughs> through an army of mummified monstrosities while solving I don't know what's so compelling about those dungeons. Things, but go man, it alone or team up with other daring yeah. adventurers in local wireless co-op and online play. Expect the unexpected. You seen the Brian David Brigade Gilbert thing about the punches? Yeah. Later today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's up? What's up with that, huh? <laughs> it's a new adventure of cosmic proportions. Oh yeah. Nintendo Cross spoiled Cross this for Ubisoft. Mario and his friends will great. team up with the yeah. rabbits once Cross again to restore lives an hour ahead. Our I was laughing because I my new evil from plunging Google the universe into gave chaos. me like an update to the Nintendo site at six o'clock in the morning. And I, was, I just started Rosalina chuckling. Joins them. <laughs> Wait, is she bored already? Explore planets filled with quirky residents and even quirkier secrets. And in this fresh take on the tactical it's genre, funny how they made our the, heroes the can run freely like, around the battlefield. Nintendo hybrid characters like this, like a rabbit peach. They just made yeah. them like Victory. very a stereotypical teenagers from Wait, the perspective of their parents, <laughs> which is how the rabbits are, and it's hilarious. Well, one thing's certain. <laughs> This is gonna be one. I like that they moved it adventure. away from the Mushroom Kingdom now. Mario plus Rabbids, Sparks of Hope yeah. launches into space Probably good onto them Nintendo in their own Switch there. next year. So they're originally Rayman characters, aren't they? Yeah. Rayman Raving Rabbids is where they were. Hack? Which was a which was like a launch Wii game. If I remember right, it launched there. Yeah, at this point they're more like Mario Rabbit games, aren't there, than Rayman ones? Yeah. Wow. The new Advance Wars. Advance Wars. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people liked it. Everyone oh, Advance was like, Wars is good. Yeah. Everyone was like, "This is this is a great tactics game. Like, we want to see more of it." And just went away for a while, I guess. Yeah. I mean, there's only so much that you can do, especially considering this one doesn't, it doesn't have like as compelling of a story as say, Fire Emblem or something like that. As you lead the commanding officers to victory. So they have to either make up for it in strategic depth or Play the first two Advance Wars campaigns in Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. Marching on to Nintendo Switch this holiday. Oh, so this is just a re-release. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. They said that they that they reimagined the way that the controls work too, though. So it's it's more than just a standard like remaster. This next segment will be our last announcement of the day. If it's not Splatoon, we will take a look. Us announcement. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, there it is. What? what? Just DLC for an already released game. Yeah. <laughs> With eight minutes to go. Oh my god. When you get to be a oh, guardian. Whoa. That's, okay, that's, that's insane. 
What even is that? I don't know what it is in universe. I don't know what weapon it emulates. It's 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 a it's nunchucks, but from a guardian's leg. Oh, the uh, guardian's leg. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Seven okay. minutes left, and that was the last one. Did you? You didn't lie, oh, did oh, you? Hello there. Oh, here's this guy. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you've just seen is a trailer for the first wave of DLC for the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion pass from Koei Tecmo Games. We still haven't seen any Breath of the Wild 2. It will follow Link and his nope. allies through more battles that took place 100 years prior so yeah, maybe to they're the using a very the Legend of Zelda definition of, of announcements. So I hope you'll uh, look forward yeah. to it. It's like, those are all I the have new a few games. more things to share with you all today. There we go, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's... We'll begin with the Legend the of Zelda anniversary. Skyward Sword HD game, which launches next month. Okay. Good. I, I want a Twilight in Princess Link by using two Joy-Con controllers for intuitive motion controls, or by playing in handheld mode, wielding yeah. the sword. Yeah, I feel like this game, stick its control scheme definitely control. deserves better. Like this game depicts the I, oldest era in the Legend of I don't Zelda know, it, series. The story. The of first how it hour all of began. the story was amazing to me, and I what loved is the, the sword origin controls. of the Master Sword? Just yeah. didn't do as well. Why did a woman named Zelda become the legend liked for future playing, generations? Like the, the arrow shooting and whatnot These was all great. In those in I actually game. liked it a lot. Yeah. We hope you're but looking I really, forward to the really Legend of Zelda Skyward Twilight Sword Princess HD. Yeah, the, I like the uh, combat movement in that game. Next up. Pair that with the sword play from Skyward what? Sword. What? Here's a little something you might like. This a is a Game & Watch system game. that lets oh. you play three games in the Legend of Zelda series. This year, the original Legend of Zelda game reaches its 35th anniversary. Yeah, there you go. There's your uh, anniversary or other Nintendo Switch games yeah. planned. We've been working on this Game & Watch He's system a little, as a special item to help uh, mark the occasion the and reflect the, fondly the on the crest, earliest days of The Legend Symbol of Zelda. In his, uh, pocket. Oh, yeah. It will come with the, the first Hillian game crest. in the series, yeah, The Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2, The Adventures Adventure of Link. Of Link. I like Adventures of Link. Lots of people hate it. I love that game. The Game Boy version of The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. Oh, game. God, the green version. <laughs> as well as a special version of the Game & Watch title, Vermin. <laughs> Starring Link as the playable character. Bonk. So that's four the games on one system, bonk. from longer Legend of Zelda games to the pick up and play game oh, bonk, bonk. Bonk. In addition, regarding the watch functionality for the Game and Watch system, that version of Link looked a, a lot like the based Lonk on the Legend meme. of Zelda. Yeah, that's true. Oh. And an interactive timer themed after Zelda II: The Adventure of Link. I mean, that's cool, but I I haven't been a huge fan of the whole. You can play with game both and watch of them by taking being, control like, of coming out personally. But I think that that's we more of a enjoy playing this game and watch Japanese system. thing. I don't know Whenever anybody that's actually bought any of the game like. and watch things in the U.S. Other than to collect them. All right, here's the last thing we have to show you. All right. This is the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath there of the Wild. There we go. There you go. Two years have passed since we first announced this game, and we've been unable to share anything with you in that time. However, development has been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Please take a look. Yeah, I, I would want them to take their time. I'm fine with them taking their time. Because I know that uh, what I've heard from a lot of devs is that developing these cutscenes, these like things to show off at conventions like this you can take time away from development. Yeah. Same thing with uh, developing specific demos for those types of things, too. You can really cut into them. That looks like a oh. Skyward Sword reference. It is. <laughs> is that a golem? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a flamethrower. Whoa, that's going to be used by speedrunners to do things it shouldn't. <laughs> the 
Now, I hope that a lot of this is all just things that were already done and somebody just had to, like... Yeah. Like, stitch it together. Yeah, because this takes place in the timeline that... Link 1. Did we know that in, there was uh, a 2022 right. so, release date? think? This time around, the no. setting for the adventure have has been for expanded it. to include the skies above Hyrule. We'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. We're aiming for a 2022 release, I feel so I like hope you'll look forward to it. They're looking for Breath of the Wild and Splatoon to be Switch Pro release How was that? titles. It could be, That's yeah. all for this Nintendo Direct. And so that's maybe why they're not we putting such a hard... We are continuing development on a number of other games we didn't show today. Yeah. I hope you'll continue looking forward to what's in store on Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching. Okay, do they end it with Splatoon? Or do they just end nope, it? Nope, that's it. That's it. That's the end of it. It's 9.39. It's going to go straight into the treehouse. No Switch Pro. No Switch Pro and no Splatoon 3. That's wild. I, I think the... that they showed Splatoon 3 when they did Hi, specifically everyone. I'm because I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo There's of America. There's Doug. And I'm here with Hello, Nate Douglas. Bildorf, who leads our treehouse team. As you know... At Nintendo, we're all about creating experiences that deliver surprises and smiles. And I have to say, I found myself smiling through that entire presentation, thinking about how many unique games we'll be able to share with everyone in the weeks and months ahead. I like how they had to blur out the logo on his uh, vest there. So many questions. Where do we start? What did, did they think? blur it out? Oh, well, Doug, they looked like the first mysterious red. I think it was just a camera a thing Zelda because fan. when they did the close up, it was still there. Um, but that's 2022. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the, and the, and the like lower, like right on his hip. games that are in the pipeline oh. for the next couple months for Nintendo Switch. We've got Mario Party See? Superstars. Wild oh, yeah, you're together, right. <laughs> the expansion for Hyrule. Oh, it must be like a North Face or something like that. They can't have it on Mario Golf Super Rush. Advanced World Nintendo Plus 2 reboot camp and North of course faces? Metroid Dread. I huh. am just well because there's a lot of like work done in there's a lot of those that you can well, get like you because okay. North Face makes the base the product same, and then yeah. you just stitch onto it. Oh, okay. Mario Golf Super Rush launches so like in just on a few weeks on June the 25th. By the no, way, they Nate, stitch them on. They embroider it in. Luigi oh, okay. brings two pairs of pants to the golf course with him. Doug, are we doing the dad joke thing again? We are. In case he gets a hole in one. <laughs> but seriously, ah. anyway, this game is just packed with content. I was like, I know you I know this joke, I just can't golf. remember it. <laughs> then there's also speed golf, battle golf, the golf speed adventure golf is mode. And hilariously the awesome. Or <laughs> yeah, they're controls. And you can play with golf a exciting. people locally or online. <laughs> Death I can golf. say this one is definitely <laughs> going to be taking up the majority of my summer gaming time. Golf oh, yeah. without limit. Mortal, Mortal golf. golf. I mean, there's plenty more to come. Bat. Um, and as for today, our E3 show is just getting started. Um, next up, we, have, of course, have Nintendo Treehouse Live, and we'll be kicking off our first segment with a very special guest, Yoshio Sakamoto, who is the producer of Metroid Dread. And he's going to be sharing his insights on... I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's the first 2D, new 2D Metroid game in nearly two decades. Uh, I'm not going to miss it. And I know do you know how long uh, Treehouse is scheduled to go? I'm so looking forward to this. Three <laughs> hours. We do have our Treehouse on right. for a gameplay deep dive into Metroid Dread. Y'all going to be here to, to sit through all of that? Or? And more games <laughs> in a mix of both live I, I've got some other stuff. So I'm going to have it on. But yeah, yeah I think that like now we can. We close, uh, I think that we're at a good point where we, we are can to everyone end the uh, the Thank YouTube you for portion. This time with us, <laughs> mm -hmm. and we hope you enjoy it. I am yeah. Thanks again, flabbergasted that there is no Splatoon three news. With that, that I'll turn it over to Sakamoto-san and the Trios team. Not 100. percent Like I said, the fact that they that they showed it off when they did, um, like why show it again? Like I think they were like, yeah, we don't need to show this at E3. Let's there, show it, it now. It would be it would be redundant if if they can't show gameplay. Right, yeah. it would. I think it would be, you know, kind of redundant for them to do something else here. Um, I don't know. We already know it's a 2022 release, so we've got that. Now it's just a like, if they can't show anything, like Maggie said, yeah, then it's like yeah, we already said it like a few months ago. We're good to go. Alright, guys. I'll see you guys later. Yep. Catch y'all later. Thanks for watching, everybody.